what is up guys phoenix here and today we're going to be working on garnet from steven universe and it's a tutorial that's been in the back burner for a bit of a, a bit of time now and i just wanted to jump in and get like a part one going this time around <gasps> look there's amethyst on the back there hello amethyst and yeah we're gonna start garnet to uh, garnet today i'm filling this hole so first we're gonna just pick a nice spot on the ground like i usually do have it all well spaced out and oh i'm lost now am i on the right side yeah we're gonna go up four spaces going straight up and somebody told me to stop using vertical and horizontal so i'm just going to use up and across now and i think he said to stop using diagonal and say like up across and stuff like that so we'll see how that works if you guys disagree tell me and i'll change it back but i'm just trying to accommodate the subs so yeah so anyways from the four um four up we have here we're going to go up and to the left four up again i'm just gonna say vertical Ugh. i can't say four up I've, i'm so used to saying vertical or just four tall, four straight. I don't I don't know. Anyways, from there, we're just shaping out the shoulders. We're going to go up and to the left. So place some block on the left side. 13 straight up. It's 13 vertical. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I'm on spring break this week, so I'm going to try and film a bunch of tutorials ahead of time. I might have, like, massive uploads coming out. I'm not sure. Like, that's my intended plan, but sometimes I get really lazy. I get addicted to other video games, and then I just don't record. So, yeah. Um, we're going to go up and to the right one single. Up and to the right two vertical. Up and to the right two single. Up and to the right two flat. And from this two flat, we're going to go to the right side right here and just put a placement block on top of it. And then to the right of that placement block, we're going to put one black wool. And we're going to use this black wool now to bridge the hair and the shoulders. So we're going to go up and to the left from this black wool, one single, and then one single again. And we can mark those. Those are going to be the start of the hair, but we're not doing the hair in this part. We're just going to leave it there to go back to. We still want to go back to the original single piece right here and it's put one to the right of it. From there, we're going to continue along this flat path. We're going to go up and to the right, two flat again. Up and to the right, three flat, two times in a row. So placement block, one, two, three. Placement block, one, two, three. Let me just knock that out. Then we're going to go up and to the right, four, then five, then 11. So it's very simple. It's the same pattern, but different numbers. So placement block, four, one, two, three, four. Placement block, five, one, two, three, four, five. Placement block, 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So the angle does look a little weird from the way the cameraman is. Like, I think I should lower him a little, but I'm, let me see if I can do that right now. Oh God, I'm turning it too much. I might leave it for now. Like he does look a little weird. I see that like the the angle of the blocks looks off. So yeah, there, that looks a little bit better. I'm gonna try that for now. Anyways, from the 11, we're gonna go down into the right now. So we're still sticking with the flats for just like a, lo a little bit longer. We're gonna go down into the right to get the rest of the shoulder going. Four flat. One, two, three, four. Down to the right, two single, I mean two flat, sorry. One, two. So we have 11, four, two. Then we're going to go down into the right, three single. One, two, three. Down into the right, two vertical, three times in a row. So two vertical, just like this. And we're going to do that three times. So there's one, two, three. And now we're hitting like a corner piece where we're going to like split off into multiple directions. So we're going to down into the right four vertical. Whoops, four vertical, one, two, three, four. And from that four vertical, we're actually going to go to the bottom block right here. And we're going to put two to the right of it. And we're not going to be done with it yet. We're then going to go down into the left from it, two single, one, two. So in case I went a little too fast for you guys, let me just show you that again. We have a four vertical strip right here, one, two, three, four. On the last block, we put two extra blocks to the right, and then we went down to the left two singles. Now, before I move on to the right side of it, I'm gonna work with the two singles we have right there and bring it to the ground. 
So we're going to go down into the left to vertical. Down into the left, one single. Down to the left, two vertical, two times in a row. One, two. Placement block, one, two. Down to the left, three vertical, two times in a row. One, two, three. Placement block, one, two, three. And we should be just approaching the ground now. We're going to go down into the right, two vertical. Then down into the right, one single. And we should have touched the ground, which is good. So let me just recap. We have one, one, two vertical. One, two, two, three, three. Then we start going down into the right, two, one. And if you have that touching the ground, I mean, you're doing it correct. You can actually go back up now to where we have the three flat waiting for us. And we're going to work with that. It looks like a giant L, L for loser, loser. <laughs> so anyways, from the three flat right here, we're going to go to the final, the tip right here, just the tip. And we're going to put one on top. Now we're going to work with both of these blocks. So let's just put a marker on them. The bottom block, since it was there first, we're going to go down into the right three single one two three and that's it for the bottom block the top block we're going to go up into the right two flat two times in a row one two and that's it for the top block so now we have these two branching off areas to work with i'm actually going to work with the bottom again because it's easy to bring the bottom down to the floor and then we'll continue back at the top so from the three singles right here we're going to go down into the right two flat and this is shaping the star pattern that's on her chest down to the right, one single. Down to the right, 21 flat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We're then going to go down into the right, one single. And it's going to be like a weird pattern to get it to the ground. I think it's going to involve nine single pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So in count, uh, counting this one, we're going to add nine going down into the left. So this is the first one already. So we're just going to need eight more down into the left. One. So it's two. Make sure there's nine in total when you're done. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we should be just above the ground now. We're going to go down into the left three vertical to touch it. One, two, three. Perfect. So we're done with this part right here. We can actually go back up now to where we have our two flats up there. But first, make a pit stop right here and delete this black, I mean, this dirt block. Just because it looks like, looks sloppy. Don't like it there. <laughs> so from the two flats we have there, we're going to go up into the right five flat. One, two, three, four. Whoops. Three, four, five. And from the end of this five flat right here, we're going to go down into the right, one single. And up into the right, seven flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So once again, we have branches. This pixel art has a lot of branches going off on it. We're going to go to the bottom again. So we're going to go down into the right, two flat, two times in a row. Placement block, one, two. Placement block, one, two. We're then going to go down into the right, 21 flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Perfect. Then after that 21, we're going to put a placement block on the right side of it, right here. And we're going to go down into the right, 5 flat. Let me just take a sip of water real quick. My voice is getting cracky, and I don't want to like mess up this tutorial. Okay. So from there, we're going to go down into the right, 2 flat. And this is just forming another star. So here's where the point of the star kind of like gets involved. We're going to go down to the right, 2 vertical. So we got like a pointy corner now. Down to the right, two vertical again. And now we have to bring it back in. So we're going to go down into the left, two vertical. Let me just zoom out so you can see how it's supposed to look. Down into the right, two flat. 
down into the right two single. Down into the oh I'm keeping thinking down into the right. I'm pretty sure I just said down into the right. Now that I think about it, it's down into the left. Sorry guys. Hopefully you guys could see me that I wasn't going down into the right and it messed you guys up. Let me just zoom out. It looks like this, remember. Anyways, we're gonna go down into the left, two vertical. I'm probably gonna go back through the video and I'm gonna actually realize I said down into the left and the down into the right was just in my head. But it's possible I said it wrong and then I'll just correct myself otherwise. Anyways, we'll go down into the left, one single. Down to the left, two flat, two times in a row. So down to the left, two flat, one, two. Place some block, one, two. And from this second two flat, we're gonna go to the left block right here and add two below it so that it becomes three tall. One, two, three, perfect. So that's like the second baby star being shaped out on the or like chest piece. And we can actually go up now to where we have this seven flat. I think this is seven that we never touched. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So from that seven flat, we're going to put a placement block at the end so we can go up and to the right. Ten flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this is just working with a center now. And so we can start going back down. So we're going to go down into the right and get the other half of her shoulder shaped out. Nine flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's where the curve starts getting a little bit more serious. So we're going to go down into the right, five flat. Placement block, one, two, three, four, five. Down to the right, two flat, two times in a row. So one, two, one, two. So we have nine, five, two, two. And then we're going to start doing some single work. So we're going to go down to the right, two singles. One, two, and from the second single right here, the lower one, we're going to put one black wool to the right of it and then add two to the top of that new black wool. So it's a backwards L. From the bottom piece right here, the one I just marked, we're going to continue working with that by going five single blocks down into the right. So just make sure you put your placement block underneath each time so you can keep going. One, two, three four, five. Just make sure you double count it if you need to. It's pretty easy. It's only five blocks. But we're reaching for the ground right now, so it has to be lined up perfectly. We're going to go down into the right, two vertical. Down into the right, three vertical. One, two, three. And to hopefully finish it up and see if we matched, we're going to go down to the right, eight vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if that, eighth ugh, if that eighth block touched the ground, you did the chest piece correctly. And you can also look at the right screen, to, I mean the right hand screen, to make sure everything is lined up. Um, I'm kind of just trying to check everything out and make sure everything's good. We're going to work our way to the shoulder piece now. Whoops, sorry about that noise. So we're going to work our way over to the shoulder piece on the right side, which starts from the three vertical we have right here with the backwards L. But I should mark it just in case if you guys can't find it. So this it is where it is. You can see it on the right screen right there. It has dirt on it. We're going to work from the three vertical and go up and to the right two vertical two times in a row. So placement block one, two, just like that. And that's one. Placement block one, two, that's two. We're then going to go up and to the right four singles. Up and to the right, five flat. One, two, three, four, five. Up and to the right, 13 flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And that's going to be the highest point in her shoulder. So we can actually bring it back down now by going down into the right and just curving our way towards the ground. So we're going to go down into the right, seven flat to start it off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Down into the right, four flat. Down into the right, three flat. Down into the right, two flat. So it's four, three, two. And instead of one, we're going to do two again. <laughs> so usually the, when it counts down like that, you'd expect it to just go four, three, two, one. But instead, we went 13, 
seven four three two two. Now, from the first two, so this one that's in between the three and the two, we're going to go to the left block of it and put two black wool going above it. Oops. That's going to be for when we're starting the hair. And from these two, we're going to go up and to the right two flat as well. And then the right block and the two flat, bleh, the right block in the two flat, we're going to put two black wool above it. One, two. And that's just going to be our marker for the hair. You can actually put a marker on it for next time. But we're still working with the shoulder, so we're going to just drop down to this two flat we have here waiting. So from there, we're going to go down into the right, two singles. Down to the right, three vertical. One, two, three. Down to the right, two vertical. Down to the right, one single. So it's three, two, one. And then we're going to, it's kind of like a jagged in and out pattern. So down to the left, down into the right. So just make sure you follow closely. First, we're going to go down to the left, three vertical. One, two, three. Then we're going to go down into the right, two vertical. One, two. Then we're going to go down into the left, four vertical. One, two, three, four. So it's taking turns kind of right now. Down into the right. So place some block on the bottom one and here's where it kind of ends we're going to go down into the left three vertical one two three and then down into the left four vertical again and you should be touching the ground one two three four so if you are touching the ground and your shoulders look like this let me just move the cameraman over that's pretty much as wide as she's going to get all we need to do is build the hair and the facial de de details which is its video of its own because it just takes so long but anyways, um, yeah, I'm just doing a short little setup for you guys this time around. And next time we'll get fully into it, get the hair, some of the fa facial features, and also just little details that I might have missed out going. So that you guys can add it to your Steven Universe collection. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this little part, a snippet. I'm going to be filming more today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Phoenix, and as always, I'll see you guys later. Bye.